My name is Matthew Talbot. I'm a trust litigation attorney, amongst other things, in Walnut Creek, California. And uh, today I wanted to talk about some of the common trust litigation issues that I run across, having been doing this for about 10 years. Uh, a lot of the cases can be very complex, but they tend to break down into similar types of categories, similar types of cases, as it were. So, for example, one case that I tend to see over and over and over again is cases related to who should be the trustee of a trust. Somebody says that they should be the trustee because perhaps the people named are unable to act or unwilling to act. Another person might say that they should be a trustee. Sometimes the issue is whether or not a neutral professional trustee should be appointed. If all of the named trustees are either unable, unwilling to act, or there's allegations of bad acts. And that brings us to our second type of common trust litigation. And again, these are not necessarily mutually exclusive. Oftentimes, you see these issues in the same case. Uh, but for example, if there, is, if there are allegations relating to bad acts by a trustee, that's something that's hotly litigated. Did somebody take $100,000? Did somebody negligently invest this money this way or that way? These are key issues that are often litigated and can tie into who should be the trustee because if somebody committed elder abuse by taking, for example, money, then obviously they shouldn't be the trustee. Uh, another topic that um, is often litigated are the terms of the trust. So for example, I have a case where an elderly woman had been diagnosed with dementia and then did a handwritten amendment to her trust, changing her beneficiaries. So now the beneficiaries, after the passing of this woman, have been at each other's throats over whether or not this was a valid document. How bad was her dementia? Did she really intend to do this? Did she understand what she was writing and signing? Um, so the terms of the trust are often litigated in cases. Some people get nervous because there's something called a no contest clause that can sometimes lead to a contestant of the terms of the trust getting nothing. But recent changes in the law have actually made these no contest clauses very toothless. So they're generally not too worrisome. But so those are some of the key things that I see over and over and over again. Who should be the trustee of the trust? With a lot of nasty allegations sometimes, back and forth between people, especially relating to potential bad acts by a trustee. That can include, of course, accountings, hiding information, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And then finally, uh, what are the true terms of the trust? Were amendments done validly? Uh, was there undue influence relating to it? Was it elder abuse? Uh, and if you are involved in a trust situation and you're not certain relate, uh, with issues relating to some of these, you should talk to an attorney because they're extremely complex with complex law, complex cases, uh, but with a competent attorney, they can guide you through the process. Thank you so much.